I'd like to introduce to you my third book, Line and Wash Painting, which is going to be published by the Crowwood Press on the 24th of January 2022. So this was my first book, which came out in 2019, Painting Watercolours on Canvas, and my second book, Painting Animals in Watercolour, which came out in 2020. So let's take a look inside. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through so that you uh, can get a flavour of the book and see whether it's going to be the one for you. I've tried to use throughout lots of different illustrations, portraits, um, urban sketching, animals, flowers, all sorts. So the contents, of course, we go through materials, then experimenting with ink, the watercolour technique, that you, you need for line and wash, putting it all together. And then the last three chapters are about changing the surface, adding a little twist, and then going more into mixed media. It's a little bit longer than my first couple of books and it's cost 12 99 in the UK. I have no idea what it will cost elsewhere. It will be published in America um, or North America, I should say, in the autumn 2022. So of course I do a little bit of an introduction about how much I love um, line and wash or pen and wash. Then we go on to materials. So we have a look at reservoir pens and dip pens, the strengths of each, what their downsides are. We go through different inks, what to look for, whether it's UV resistant, etc. We go through watercolours and what to look for in your watercolours and of course paper surfaces and so forth. Then we're um, experimenting with ink, with our drawing side and I give you drawing exercises. We look at dip pens, I give a whole example of dip pens. We look at water resistant pens rather, rather than water proof pens. We look at actually painting with ink rather than using a pen. We go on to the watercolour techniques, a bit of introduction to watercolour, colour mixing, wet on dry, wet and wet, um, different ways of getting different textures. And then it's all about putting it together. Do we do line first or wash first? Do we outline? Do we add? What, how can we use it to save paintings? We look at painting outside and then there's um, an urban sketching example there's lots of other examples we look at some colored line work just using gel pens and this is the point where we start changing the surface and taking a little bit further so looking at tinted surface i do a portrait actually on just some old corrugated cardboard a found surface we look at working on printed papers and then there's a, another case study of using lots of different printed papers. We do work on canvas, how to prepare that. We look at textured surfaces, working on wood and then in chapter six we start adding things so all about how text can really add to your artwork and go through whether it's using printing, hand texting, so forth. And then there's a whole section on gouache wash off or gouache resist technique, um, which is a wonderful technique that I absolutely love. And then in the final chapter, it's all about adding something a little extra. So collaging with um, line and wash, uh, and I've got a portrait here where I've introduced sort of collage um, into that portrait, adding pastels to your line and wash, adding metal leaf. Um, and then right at the end, we've just got a few recommended books and useful links and things like that. It's well indexed. And that is your 128 pages of basically painting using line and wash. I think it's pretty comprehensive and I hope 
it covers all different subject matters just to show how versatile this is as a process.